Hello everyone, welcome to the Palladium Portal Experience. Hi there. I am just typing this in here. Hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Let's see if I... Hello everybody. There we go. It's pinned. Welcome. Welcome. I hope you are all well. Can you hear me okay? So we'll just give it a few moments for some people to join us. Beautiful. Um, I do have to say, first of all, um, I have to apologize for if there was any confusion. I think the timer I had set on the, the story was for 3 o'clock and I was coming live at 3.30, so if there was any confusion, I apologize for that. Because um, I normally come on at 3, but my higher self had said today they wanted me at 3.30, so I acknowledge that. And um, somehow my internal clock said 3, um, but we're all here and we will get started shortly. Let me go over a couple things that have been transpiring, because for those of you who have, who have seen these lives before, that when I come back from um, that deep channeling, I'm a little out of it for a while. Um, so, um, we've covered the time. So next was, okay, throat chakra. I'll, all day I have been dealing with uh, this froggy throat. Um, so it's not only I'm sure stuff that I'm clearing, but I also always clear for the collective. So I apologize um, if I sound like I have um, a scratchy throat. Um, it's just whatever's being transmuted, and I'm sure we're going to address that today. If not, we'll address it at the end. Um, also, if you have been somebody that has lived heavily in the masculine um, genre, whether male, female, does not matter, um, you will notice that if you're used to being in that corporate masculine setting, that now if you're home because of the lockdowns, the virus, if you're not working, that you may feel like there's a lot more feelings coming up, a lot more feelings. That's because your divine feminine finally has the ability um, and time to rise and come up. So just go ahead, acknowledge those feelings. Um, and as they've been saying for quite a while, this is the rise of the divine feminine. And it's not that the divine feminine is going to overtake the divine masculine. It's because it's been so very submissive, it's actually rising up to meet the divine masculine for a balanced union. So um, it's a lot of, probably like I said, a lot of emotional feelings coming up. And also, um, if you're like me, the last yesterday and today, because of the intense energies that are also streaming into the earth, you may find it very difficult to have some sort of structured day um, planning anything. You know what? Let it go. Don't even try. Let it go. Just embrace whatever comes and just learn to live your life in the flow. And that is a huge example. I know um, yesterday I ended up taking most of the day off in the afternoon because I just I just couldn't get it together and um, so I just allowed and it's all good it's all good that's the way it's supposed to be it's supposed to be in flow so all right so um, I see the Palladians uh, um, my uh, guide as you say is uh, standing by he's waiting to take us in so let's go ahead and get ready First of all, before I take, I open up my portal, I will scan the field um, for any um, any energies, discarnate energies, and because he wale my na kala wa hasa wa hinenyo na wala, and um, we'll take it from there. And also, so at this time, while I do that, just take a couple deep breaths, settle in, and I will take you on this meditative tour. Okay. 
kasawali minya so walahi ke bapa so walahi minya koko so wama nahi ko walahi ko so mani nyo so walahi wa koku ya manahe lahi ka so walahi mana kahila ho so walahi minya ki waka so walahi ke mano so walahi wa koku ya mana koko so ibala ba kiki bika koko bika ti minya ke na walaki ke pa koko si ko walahi wa The field is clear, okay. So <laughs> there's quite a few of you today. That's wonderful. Um, many of us, many joining by their higher selves. The portal is opening and we're going to go ahead and meet in the gathering area. For those that are new, this is like a park-like setting with benches and greenery and fountains. And there are many galactic people that come here to socialize, to meet. Um, they uh, want to meet you as much as you want to meet them. Kahi manai ninyo si walahi ki menyenya si walahi po si walahi manahai poko kawali wo yeninyo wala ya wako yeni wala wa hai ki wala ki awanya. So we have a few people still showing up. So go ahead and just take this time to walk around. I will let you know when it's ready to move. Saint Germain has made his presence known. Kasawalahi no ko kia waka naya naya no sawalahi manio nyo sawalahi yeko mena. He's, he always has a smile on his face. <laughs> He's walking around, talking to you, each one of you. And he is putting something in the left palm of your hand. So why don't you go, go ahead and take a look and see what that is. I see the color violet. Um, Saint Germain is quite known for his violet flame of protection. He's reminding each and every one of you that this is a useful tool for you, one that is sometimes forgotten. To go ahead and use this in times of protection when you've been in a situation where the energy has been heavy and dense um, and you just don't feel right after you may have walked away from a conversation or from a home or a location of business to go ahead and evoke the violet flame around you. And this will help in the clear the distorted energies. He's saying it's quite a quick fix for you. Archangel Michael has made his presence known. He's just kind of standing off to the back, but he just wants to know that his presence is here. And some of you are already starting to release as I'm, um, for me, I start getting very cold. I'm starting to shiver and shake. So that means there's a lot of releasing going on. So let's just let it go. Kasawalahi <laughs> 
kahiwa so wa mi ne ne o wa la hai me ne so wa la kahiwa so wa la hi me ka ko si we ni ma na na i ne ko wa la kahiwa so wa la hi me ne wa la hai wa ko ko so wa la a lot being removed from your base your root chakra kasami wa ni na la let it go surrender it kaso wa la hi ka ma na da ko so wa la give it back to divine to transmute back into light kaso wa li wa ko mi ni ne wa la hi ke si wa la wa ko so wa wa yi ma na ki ko so wa la wa ka hi wa ko wa si wa na wa la hi ka hi so wa wa yi na wa hi kaso wa So why am I not so cool? You need to get in a while. He will go. He will not yet go. So I can hold. So why me? No, no, no. 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 As we know, the base chakra represents security, sense of security. You have everything that you need with inside of you. Some of you are releasing from the sacral chakra and from the solar plexus. Holding space for you while you do that. Mary Magdalene has made her presence known. Mother Mary, Isis, you are surrounded by so much love and you are supported more than you understand or know. They are saying to release and let it go. That these are the confines of the 3D matrix structure that is breaking down not only within you, but with around you. This is not to be feared, but to be rejoiced. As the new earth build out is coming, as when you look back at the end of the year, it will not be the same earth that you knew it on January 1st. And this is a blessing. This is a beautiful thing. There will be trials and tribulations for you to go through many changes. They may not seem so good on the surface and in the beginning, but it is in alignment for your highest divine self. And know that what the outcome is on the other side will be so much better, so much brighter, so much more beautiful. You're still releasing because I can still feel you can still feel it. You are in a sacred spot, in a sacred place to let this go. Where there is no judgment, there is no time, there is only love. Unconditional love and you are surrounded by many blessing beings that support you and want this for you.
while this is continuing there's still a lot of releasing going on which is beautiful we're going to go to the healing temple and this is a very large pink quartz pyramid so you um there's so much releasing going on you may uh hear my voice um reflect that that's good letting it go releasing it releasing it through my field through your field Raise your vibration. If you do not know how to do this, just go ahead and give it over to your higher self. Just tell your higher self. To raise your vibration. We are standing in a circle in front of the pyramid. I'm going to walk around behind each and every one of you. I may be stopping behind some of you and this is to help raise your frequency. I'm going to be putting my hand on your mid back. I'm not going to be touching you, but I might, you may feel my energy through the back. And you may also feel it on the front part of your chest if I bring my other hand around. <sighs> There's a lot transmuting right now. Um, just stay with it. Stay with it. Raise your frequency. creating a balance of energy throughout the group. You will get exactly what you need. Let it go. Yeah, 
Yeshua has made his presence known. He has come to the middle of the circle. He is lending his support, as you may say, his energy. He appears first in the physical form, or is it like a physical form, and now he is radiating as a golden white bright light that is emanating and moving through and beyond the circle, enveloping every single one of you. Bringing in his warmth and his love. And some of you may also be experiencing the cold and you may be warming up. Your fields are being prepared for a download, but we must clear and transmute all this dense energy first before that will transpire. So if you are holding in on to anything for any reason, let it go. If it is too big for you to handle, give it to me and I will hold it for you. And I will transmute it for you. I see many butterflies going. That's beautiful. That means you are transmuting. Let it go. Let it go. I'm sending you all so much love for the work that you are doing. This is a very intense, deep releasing. But it must be done. Some of you have started to receive the download. that are still releasing I am coming up in front of you we are cleared enough that everyone now is receiving the download I'm hearing that this is like a time frame And even though you are still releasing, you are receiving. surrounded by the violet flame as you're receiving this beautiful download I've called in some guides to help me, as there are many of you. Bringing in the spirit guides and the angelic realm.
There are a couple of you that I'll be working on individually. Well, because I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Some of you are asking what is going on as there's some change being taken place within your, your DNA and cellular structure. This is part of the awakening. I'm hearing that some of you are getting a little um, sort of a kickstart. delivered with divine love. Things will become much more clearer to you after this. Your understanding, I kind of am showing the connection of the dots. Some of you might feel very emotional and that's perfectly normal. It will bring up a lot of shadow work to be cleared and you can let a lot of it go in the here and the now in this sacred space. Asking you to raise your vibration Stay grounded. The, the releasing and the surrendering is still coming in waves, but it is slowly subsiding. So that is wonderful, beautiful work, beautiful work. You have yourselves to thank for this. You are doing the work. The download is complete. However, I do not feel that we are finished yet. The Galactic Council has made their presence known. And they have actually surrounded you on the outside perimeter of the circle. Ka 
so one year, one year, one now here, and now so well, I he, men you know, one now, one I hear, and I hear, so well, Kaya, no, what he, Kahi, were you, one now, well, I hear, and we know, well, I hear, you cool, you were so well, Kahi, well, I hear, you know, well, I hear, you will, oh, I hear, Kaya, lie, well, oh, Kahi, one I know, well, I hear, well, oh, I hear, Kahi, lie, so Kawa, we wouldn't you, and I hear, go, was so we, men, I hear, and well, I. ตัวเยซิเมเนวะกะเกะปุกกะเจอเจอปอยะปะจุกไกตุปะดะปะกุกุเจมะนะเยเนวะนะวะลาฮิกิกุกุซิเมนะเลยอุกิกิปะกะเ
Kasoli minia, you know, wallahi koso wallahi minyetsu wallaha. I always, always welcome you back. The Palladians always welcome you to the healing center. Okay, everyone has returned. So I'll be bringing myself back here. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm still cold. Many of you are still releasing. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, so much love to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Um, make sure you drink plenty of water. Um, rest if you need to rest. Um, if this resonates you and you feel called to reach, uh, reach out to me. Um, my offerings are in my um, my bio, my link in my bio um, to either a Let's Chat or for those of you who um, know about my energy, my light language energy healing sessions. So, um, so I guess we'll see you next week, next Wednesday. Um, thank you so much uh, for being here, for doing the work. Um, surrendering and releasing I know that is a lot um, and it can be very emotional and you are supported you have my energy field to support you and um, the Palladians and very um, the divine uh, and um, angelic realms and many many more um, so with that I'm gonna say many blessings much love to you Bye-bye. Oh, and um, yes, this will be posted in my story here. I will try to save it, and then I will put it to my YouTube. Alrighty. Namaste. Bye-bye.